now is the time of the heart. You have to turn the key in your heart. You have to get in this vibrational place because there's a lot of stories that are going to be going on here, a lot of things that, is that are going to happen. So you really need to, co to connect with your heart, with your higher self, bring this new vibration in, and joining in those circles, like you're saying, of people is very, very important to join together. The Spirit is saying to me now, there's a lot of people who now are talking the talk. And we talk the talk, and we do this, and we do that, and we have all these different things that we're interested in. Spirit said it's a beautiful feast, which is laid, which is laid out before us, and we're partaking of this wonderful feast, but sometimes we're not walking the walk of the talk that we're talking. And we're being distracted, even though now this new distraction is very beautiful, it's a spiritual distraction that perhaps many are going on. And they say they're like children that are opening up all the presents at Christmas or a holiday, and they open the presents, they open the presents, all these new wonderful, beautiful, spiritual things that they're learning. But then, they're not walking the walk. They're not, they have all these tools, and they're not building the house. And the Spirit says, build the house and get to it. And this is manner, but it's not the same as if you walk through it and you add to that depth of the knowing from that way. And that's what you're doing, and that's what God is doing through all of us, or Source, whatever right? you would like to say the name um, that makes you feel comfortable. But that's what it is, because if there was not Source, then there would not be any of you, or anything. So, um, the song about love in the heart is because your heart is where the key lies. Your uh, physical heart, as well as your spark of your soul, of your heart, the divine, which you are. If you can come here and turn this key, Jesus Christ had come through, the archangels come through, the, the higher realms come through, and they're saying messages. I, yes, and there are those who want to hold on and not release the blockages that are within them that they're holding on to. As you continue to hold that, or you say, we must go gently, we must go slowly, and we have to have time and patience, time which we do not like. So, <laughs> as you do that, what do you think in all of that is happening? You are putting out more fear, more low vibrations, right? More hurt, more traumas that you visited, that you wrote with your own hand to experience, and yet you're sitting and holding it. And what are those that are in lower frequency thinking? Yay! Hooray! Isn't that wonderful? Yes? They're sitting in emanating out more of that frequency. Meanwhile, they're saying they're light workers, and they're sitting in the things that they're not releasing, or they're not walking the walk, right? They're talking the talk, and not walking the walk. They're not building the house. So this is the time we say to you, all of you are in power too. There is not just one who stands here and speaks, as Chattel was saying, she speaks. All of you have power, yes? Because Chattel was sitting right in that audience. She did not study, she did not do anything. What happened is we saw her light so bright from her heart that this is how this happened, this frequency. And we were able to come through that frequency like a plug. So we say to you, so can all of you, yes? Because this is why we come to talk to you, to realize you are sparks of the divine in manifestation, to experience, yes? So you are experiencing over and over and over, yes? We are collective, yes, we are not individual, we are collective consciousness. We no longer have a physical vehicle that we travel through. We are very, 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 very high up. That Humanity always wants to know labels and uh, names and this and that, but we say to you it is very, very high, very, very high. Is it God? All is God. All is God. You are God. I am God. All is God. The rocks are God. The building, everything is God. Anything that exists is God in manifestation to know itself is God. All that is God. If God pulls back this energy, this frequency, there is nothing. This is all God manifesting through everything. So all is God. Yes, we are God, you are God, all is God. In different manifestations of itself and its consciousness. So yes. Have you 
take your paintbrush and dip it in another story, uh, dip it in another paint is the word to say. When you would like to make a decision that you have had enough of that storyline, you have gained from it the depth or the richness that you wrote it originally for to experience it, yes? So then you say, I've experienced it, I have it, okay. Now you are the ones, right, who are part of creature, yes? You're gonna write or paint from a new color, yes? This is how you slowly begin to do that and follow what a joy is to you. What makes you feel and resonate in here in the heart as a place you want to be, as if like home. Could you understand? Familiar, beautiful home. What words can we say? Words are limiting for us. But you understand what we are trying to say to you, yes? You slowly move into what resonates as that than the other, the heavy, yes, that you had experienced. You move to start, to take little steps, yes? If you fall, it's fine. You get back on, yes? To move towards that, which whatever will make you Yes, whatever feels as home, comfortable and resonates with you. And that's how then you will leave this behind and you will travel there, yes? Yes, within yourself to wake up and to remember that which you are because you entered into duality and forgetfulness so you could play this game and explore from this perspective. Because what fun would the game be if you knew what you were doing, yes? <laughs> it would not be the same effect for you, yes? To make it real, even though it is not real because you're, you're thinking you were separated or asleep but you are not really separated. You can never be separated from source of all that you are manifesting through. So it is the heart, the heart, the heart is the key. The physical heart, which also emanates out a field, as well as the spiritual spark of the heart. Yes, but you travel with you all in your existence forever, that heart of your spark of your soul that you have. This will radiate, radiate out. We want to say, bear with us, it's not our language, yes. It will radiate out this field from yourselves, which you must encompass yourself in as well, because there are many who will be loving, 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 loving to everyone else, but then they're not loving to their self. You have to be patient, kind, compassionate for yourself. You have been through much, yes? As you feel, all that you feel, yes? And that which is seeping through from the other aspects, aspects, manifestations of yourself, yes? So you must be loving to yourself for all that you have done and been through, and release that, release that in compassion, in kindness, in love, in gentleness for yourself then you bring it forward, yes, for others as well, because what is good only to love yourself? Yes, it has to be an interaction, yourself out to all others, all others yourself. As this field goes out, you're going to change yourself, you're going to change others, you're going to change your world, because it's going to be a frequency that is going to be, be there, that you're going to raise the frequency, and those that are lower vibratory cannot exist once this field becomes so high. Instead of sitting in, for me, or oh, what happened to me, or am I traumatized, yes? Release it so you can do that in love, so you raise the frequency, so you're sending out a higher frequency, yes? That's what you're here to do, how the world's going to change, yes? Wouldn't you like to see it? <clears throat> and we'll say to you, humanity, whether or not you do it or not, we say to you, as there are many paths of possible probabilities to go down, there has been a backup plan, so to say, put into effect, and that is the young ones, yes? The new ones that are coming in, yes? Because the new ones, do not have this, yes? They're coming in without all of this, yes? The words that we say, this. Do you understand that they are holding, that they have been through, yes? That they're trying to release. They come in with remembrance, they come in with a higher frequency. So those are the ones, but we applaud all of those that came before, the founding mothers and fathers, those that have built the cornerstone. We applaud all of you because you have begun to raise that frequency. So those could come in, do you understand? The, the way showers, yes. You set the roots of the tree firmly to withstand the winds of change. Do you understand? So those could come in. And they are coming in higher and higher and higher frequency. And as they do so, if this generation wishes to continue sleeping or doesn't get it accomplished, it is no matter because it's your free will. Yes, it's what you're creating. But we will say to you that the sleeping generations will pass away and the new generations, yes, will get it done. And then when you come back, if you choose to come back, will only be able to come back if you're a higher frequency, yes? Because if you're a lower frequency, you're not going to be able to exist in the higher frequency. And we will see this beautiful world that is being forged to be created, yes? The heaven on earth, which is consciousness, yes? A beautiful new place. Wouldn't you like to sing a new song, humanity? The planet is too beautiful, yes? When you begin to be in love, as we say love, people say, oh, love, love, love. But you must understand, when you are love, there is not that you want to take over another, yes? You want to do one better of another, one is the words up on another in your language, you know, <laughs> to, to steal, to lie, to have more of riches and watch another that has nothing. Do you understand? So love is the way. Yes, because then there will be what, the behavior, the consciousness to come from that. And this is how your interactions of walking, walking and being in, yes, will come to be a change.
right? So you ask, where is God? Is this the question you say? God is everywhere, everywhere and in everything, through all of existence, Alfred and Mega, world without end. You understand? Yes, it is grand. It is so much to grasp, even for us to grasp the grandness, yes? The vastness of this beautiful miracle, amazingness, yes? That is, and that we are, and that you are, which is even adds more wondrous for you to feel so grateful, yes, for this. The light language is raining down upon you frequencies, uh, symbols, coding, which is if you release, and the work it also does releasing, you will hear <laughs> When this is done, this is releasing from blockages energetically that you hold upon your physical vehicle from this manifestation as well as your other aspects of manifestation of yourself. Some say past life, but it's actually simultaneous. It depends on how you, where, what, where you are on <laughs> grabbing this concept. So that is done, releasing, releasing, releasing. As this releasing is done, then the higher frequencies can be brought in, yes, that are available for all now to take in, yes. It works on all the levels, energetic, physical, yes, mental. It also works on the cellular DNA, yes, because it's bringing in the crystalline and raising that, and not only putting on the potential for the DNA, this work turns it on, you understand? It can turn, turn, turn. Yes? It is in addition to the heart. Yes? Because there are many who sometimes sit in the heart and the heartache and perhaps they cannot release. So the releasing comes in, yes, to help them to put cracks in the dam, so to say, so it can start to flow out what needs to be emptied and bring in the new. Yes? And if you seek to go to a healer, as far as you say, you say, do not have any of them become a guru or a for you because there's no more time of the guru. You are your own guru. There is no sovereign over you. Empower yourself, yes? If those who have come to channel to have her sessions of the light language, they're the higher realms that are coming in and taking this out, taking this out. It cannot do it all at one point because you cannot shock the system, you understand? And it's very individual because channel does not like to say, you need to come for five sessions. It's your life, it's your creation. You want one, two, zero, it's up to you. <laughs> so you will feel what you would like to have again or not to help you with your release. Yes?